guys, this is Marie, Random Oki Farms. We are in Southern Oklahoma with our friend, Crandall. From the Eldridge fam. Yes. And uh, he's been telling me about these chickens and I didn't even realize how awesome they are. Yes. Yeah, so there's, these chickens are amazing. So these are the American Breast Chicken and uh, we're gonna show you guys a little bit about them and we're sending Marie home with a whole bunch of eggs. We've got yes. about three times as many, close to a hundred eggs. Fingers crossed. And hopefully they're gonna hatch. As you guys know, if you've been on our channel, we have some that are hatching like in the next two or three days. Um, but she's gonna go and she's gonna try and hatch a bunch more because we want a lot more chickens. So, and we've got a bunch of other YouTube channels that want some of these chickens. Yes, yours are in lockdown. I was kind of disappointed because one thing that's cool with the incubation is you can actually see the chick in the egg moving so that's one thing that i'll try and show you guys while we're incubating these yes eggs. because i wanted to do that on ours but i was just using my phone light and stuff and i couldn't ever get a, a good video of it yeah, so if yeah, you can get a good yeah, video of yeah. it that'll be sweet yeah <laughs> i mean awesome so this is the american breast chicken this is one of our hens uh she got a little bit of frostbite from that huge huge winter storm mm -hmm. we had that's this little lady. but right not near as bad mm -hmm. as some of the others so these are like considered the wagyu of chicken their meat will actually marble um and they're the only chicken that their meat marbles like beef does um so they're a dual purpose bird as well they're both a uh, egg production and meat so if you fill them they are a lot meatier the roosters especially oh yeah mm -hmm. so they're meatier than the other birds now we free range ours, or we did free range ours up until like a week ago. Um, so they're a little bit more lean. But when you want them to put on the weight, then that's when you feed them the corn and the milk. Is that how you get the, the, the marbling. actual marbling yes. is through the corn and the yeah. milk? Yeah, so okay. kind of in France, and I don't know a ton of research about this. I'm sure there's more viewers out there that are like, you're totally wrong about this. But from what I understand is they will free range them and then two weeks before they're going to butcher them, the ones that they're going to butcher, they put them on a strict corn milk diet and they lock them in. Mm -hmm. So they put them in a smaller pen so they can't run around and lose all the weight. That is so, so interesting. They're really friendly. My friend at uh, Phoenix Farms, yeah. who I want you to meet, she's been telling me about the same chicken for years. Which is just crazy. And, and it's <laughs> when circle. I told her about, the, I was like, she's, he's telling me about feeding them corn and milk. And I was like... I swear you told me about a chicken that you feed corn and milk. Yep. And then she got all excited. So yeah, next time you come up, we'll have to see if you can yeah, go over, over and, and meet her. And meet Robin. She's awesome. Yeah. So, so we love them. So we're going to hatch some of these eggs. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Marie's yeah. going to keep some of them. Yeah. And then we're going to try and uh, go through our flock and make sure that we have the best birds possible. I know a lot of the viewers have reached out and said, hey, can we buy eggs from you? Not right now. Yeah. We want to make sure that we have like the top quality birds before we start selling eggs and stuff. So we're in the process of doing that. Um, but yeah, they are an amazing, amazing bird. Yeah, I was actually just talking to our NRCS agent and he was telling us about chickens because we were talking about running them across the pasture. Uh -huh. Well, with you wanting to hatch them out, we're wanting some is having the smaller chickens go across the iris, they aren't able to tear up the rhizomes. Like the pullets? Is yeah, that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. With, whereas these larger chickens do. Yeah, that is a good so, idea. Well, we yeah, can do that. I was looking at your chicken tractor, and did you look at uh, Cog Hills, how the bottom of his is where all the manure just falls through? I haven't. I, yeah. That's I a good idea. This, that would be... I, we have to come up with some between us and Fowler and William. Everybody down here. Yeah. yeah. Come up with a good <laughs> So let me show you guys real quick what we yeah, did with our chicken coop. Yeah, you want to hold them? Her? Yeah. Hold them. yeah. So what I did on ours, and uh, we have a whole video detailing how we built this and all of this stuff. But what we did for ours for easy clean out is added this door here. Oh. So basically you just shovel it out. Do you do the uh, deep litter? Or yes, just, that's yeah, what we're I doing right now. The, the deep litter. I was just collecting some leaves. That's what I do with my leaves. Yes. Put them in for the deep litter method. It's awesome. So basically I just stick, we have a big sled. I stick the big sled there and then just shovel it all through into a pile or into the sled and then I go put it in compost awesome. and stuff like that. Mm. So that's, that's the way cool. we've worked with it. But you made for a longhorn luster. That yeah, one was out so at I'm a Survivor. Yes. Yeah, that one turned out pretty yeah. good. 
Oh, yeah, and you were asking me about lice and mites. Here you go. Yeah. So, um, whenever I get a new chicken or just periodically checking, I look under the wings. And I'm looking, you'll see, it's like little, they don't have any, but you'll see there will be like little eggs stuck at the base of the leaf. And then I also look down here by their tush to see if there's any, and you see how pretty the skin looks, how there's not any mites or lice is what I'm looking for. Okay. And you'll see them, like the the mites, like you'll see they're super tiny little bugs. But you can actually see them. Yeah, you'll actually see the, the bugs. So, but I just check them all over and you can quickly see them. Like there will be literally ba bugs all. Oh, like along, on the feathers. On the feathers and you can literally see them on their skin. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So well, they look great. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we... Uh... We I'm, passed the inspection. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having some of your kids. Yes. Huh. <laughs> okay, we're going to check her back in here. All right. You want to go look at the baby ducks for her? Yeah, of course. I mean, they're basically your baby ducks, so. Yeah. But still. Oh, I, I still want to see them. It's, it's, um. <laughs> this is a, that's a wood egg. A wood egg? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're. For my, for my trap and we also use them to, to teach the uh chickens where to lay so oh, we set them in the yeah. nesting box mm -hmm. and then, then they can't peck them and all that very cool stuff, so. very cool so that chicken tractor has half inch wire yeah so would it be better like are they do you think a predator can easily get to them um i think mom would call them and in, they'd go in and they would go in before okay. uh you know, like just for example, how we walked over here and, and how these in. babies are already up here. Mom's like, you better get in here. Okay. That's so, kind of what I was thinking too, but I know a lot of the viewers are like, hey. Yeah, you know, no, the babies know stranger danger. And also there's, at, like, see how we're walking over and she already is taking that whole herd. Yeah. To get away from us. So she's a good mama. I love Muscovies. They are the best. I, you've got me hooked on them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so like that this hen hatched all these babies. 14. 14 in like Siberian blast. Yeah. From Did 70 you... degrees to negative 15. Yeah. With the wind. And out of how many eggs? Out of 17. That's... So 14 out of 17. And another one. Two more of them, one of them hatched all the way, but it didn't make it. And then the other one started to hatch and then stopped. And I actually cracked open the third egg and it was fully developed. Really? So all of them, which I cannot believe it because she had started laying eggs, but she wasn't setting on them and we had mm -hmm. to freeze. So I thought for sure that- just, I thought for sure even when you were telling me that they were pipping, I was like, hopefully- Yeah, no, I, I am blown away. They are very, they very They are hardy. so cute and it can be, freezing outside and they're just fine. Yep, they just love it. Yeah, yeah a lot of people are like, you need to turn the heat lamp on for the babies, but I think the no, mama's doing a no, good job, right? like a duck and chickens are two different things. Oh, okay, so yeah. maybe, like if uh, if our chicken hatched eggs, we would need to maybe. supplement. I, I would just in case. Chick ducks are a little enough. smarter. <laughs> ducks are a little smarter. Well, and like these ducks, we've had them hatch like three round bales up in the air. The, really? This mama would hatch all her eggs and there would be baby ducks. Up in the top of the rafters. And how we saw it was these baby ducks, like literally jumping and like bouncing on the ground and then just boop, just going and just along. going, oh my gosh. I was horrified. And yeah, we got up there with the ladder and got the rest of them. Oh my gosh. We had one today. I actually have a video of it, but it ran up the mm -hmm. back side of this plywood all the way to the top of it and then jumped in. I believe it. I was just like. Yeah, they're cool. They're so really neat. cool. Yeah. So I don't know. Do these look like your babies that you guys had? <laughs> like uh it's okay, Mama. They're all yellow. Yeah, and then they'll they be have all different colors. A black black line. Like this, they'll some of them will be the color of that pin. Okay. Too. Um but we have whites, chocolates, blacks, grays, and um lavender and creams and all different colors Man. and we only got two of the two of the brown ones but yeah, their colors will change as as, it, as they get older as they get older but the, will those two be the same you yes. think uh -huh. okay 
So kind of all of the yellows will come out the same -ish. No, because look at their, their tail fluff. It goes by their tail fluff. Some okay. will be lighter and some will be darker. Like there'll be different variations. Okay. So, but the two dark ones, yeah, they're going to be dark. Be and even like some of them, how you can see the darker spots on the side of their heads. Like yeah, some of them are like up, gold, gold, and some yeah, of them are they'll, yellow. they'll wind up with some of the dark spots. It'll it's cool to see how they'll change their colors. Oh, I'm so excited! I love them. Aren't I don't they know. the coolest moms? Oh my gosh! Just the whole, I love ducks. I I told Marcy I was like, man, I could get rid of all of my chickens and just have ducks. I yeah. think they're so much more fun. I love the Muscovies because how quiet they are. Yeah. Like if you're looking for a homesteading animal and being a good neighbor at the same time. That's the one to do. ducks. They're super Our neighbor quiet. has, I don't know what they have. They sound like mallards, mm -hmm. which it doesn't bother me that yeah. they make noise, but they yeah. do make a ton of noise compared to they, these. They do make a ton of noise. Not that that's bad, but if you live in if a small need, community, then yeah. you got to be conscientious. Of, of everybody you know, else your around neighbor, your neighbor <laughs> that only has a couple hours of sleep because they have twins and <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> oh, we actually have a gift for you guys so here we are we Aww. actually have a gift for you guys we're a little bit late past christmas Aww. but it is what it is and so how often do you see the arms um often like, enough yeah uh -huh. okay we have one for them too so like i can drop it go drop it by yeah okay so we, marcy has made homemade vanilla for all the homesteading oh channels gosh, around here you made this so Aww. it is super super good it that is the best stuff have a bow. I ran out of ribbon. <laughs> i'll take the one without the bow okay. <laughs> that is so, so and this is reusable sweet. so as soon as it gets low whatever yeah, you just I add I, you just add vodka, right? Yeah. Add what? vodka to top it off. Really? It's just vodka yeah, and a little bit. Yeah, you ours. Uh -huh. yep. We made ours. That it smells so, so good. so cute. That's adorable. Mm -hmm. So this stuff is great. Like, we've used all sorts of different vanillas, and uh -huh. now this is the only one we use. Yeah. And it is so mine looks disgusting. Yeah. Now I use a waterproof, waterproof, waterproof label. label. But so you just cool. refill it. This is like the third time it's been filled up. No so. way. It's never ending. It's awesome. Have you made your own butter? No. Oh my gosh, it is so easy but and it tastes amazing. Maverick got to make some at our church this summer and yes. like it was so good. It so is, I want to try it. Yeah, we'll like we make that. some for uh, corn butter for when you do, uh, we'll have to bar do it when we barbecue this year. Yes, we yes. need to. Yeah. <laughs> we need to do a cookout. And then you just add the seasoning when you're making the butter, oh. and it's amazing. We'll have to do that. Yes. Okay, we're going to do yeah, it. We'll come up awesome. and do like a spring days at your guys' place okay. with the irises oh, yeah. and the animals, and yeah. everybody bring food and yes. do some sort mm -hmm. of big old. It'll be awesome. Yeah. yeah, well, thank you. That is so sweet, and I'm sure the arms, I know DJ will love it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it tastes, ice cream is the best. Homemade ice, ice cream, cream like this? Cream. Yeah, like you have really? ice yes. cream, you add this. It's good. Okay. It's all really good. That is so awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That is just so sweet. Yeah, no problem. All right. All right. Well, we are going to get those eggs. Oh, okay. Trying okay. again, but like I said, told everybody else, we're trying to figure out what we're doing. So you know, it's like I've always had good luck, but you know, when the world's uh -oh. watching, yeah, this, exactly. There's no pressure. I'm always like, if I trip and face plan with these eggs, because like these are really cool chickens. So we are going to take these eggs home and get them started. I wanted to thank you guys. No problem. Um, for giving us these eggs to incubate. Well, granted, I mean, we're going to, you'll get to see both of the progress on both our channels. Make sure you go and check them out. The Eldridge fam. And you guys are on uh, Facebook as well, Facebook right? Facebook as well. Yep. Facebook and YouTube. So whichever platform you like, we will have them in the description box. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And... Get to see their sweet babies. That's they right. just had twins <laughs> and Maverick. And Maverick, Oh, speaking yes. of that, I got a present for you guys. Oh, awesome. You get it. I mean, who doesn't love babies? Yeah. All babies require presents. I love your truck, by the way. This is literally my dream truck. 500 <laughs> plot bed. Oh, it took it's... a lot of time to get like this. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> yeah. so, this is from us. And there's a couple things in there from the arms as well. Oh my goodness. Oh my yeah. Gosh, you guys are I'm so going nice. to have to rewrap this so that Maverick can open it, but yeah. we'll open it first. So we did plan it, yeah, for Maverick to, to open it. Yeah. Should we wait for him? No, no, no. 
Oh, you're good. Here, I can oh. hold the paper so we can keep we it. Can, we can rewrap it. Yeah, so you guys gotta... Ours Family that's Homestead, awesome. Beanie. So that's actually how we got, we met, was at the uh, conference. Yeah, you should create a conference that Daniel and Sean put on. Yeah, and the... Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Little onesie, Ours Family Homestead onesie. And it's just kind of crazy with him, like the roundabout, how it worked. So I actually met him before I really knew that people were famous on YouTube. And visiting with him about his, to yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> his tomatoes. Oh, open that one up. Let's we'll see what that one says. And, oh, yeah. Me and this DJ. Is do your best. Oh, yes. So Me and DJ good. met at a, a baseball game. Our, our kids playing against each other. That one's yours. I love mm -hmm. it. Yes, that's yours. So some cute donkeys. Cute. And then this one's yours. And they're super nice. I just called DJ and was super. like, hey. Hey, you want to open that one? Yeah, I got Chilla. I got oh, William I got oh, that yes. one too. I like that one. And Let me see the front. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. the Colonel and black shirts because I feel like... I don't get ruin them. You mm -hmm. don't ruin yeah. them. <laughs> so now we can rewrap it so Maverick so, can Yeah, we'll rewrap it. <laughs> if you guys go on our channel, you'll yeah. see Maverick open it. <laughs> it's later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, wow, yeah, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to head over to their channel as well. Thank you for coming along and... Hopefully you enjoy the chicken hatching process.